Yo, hey guys, Ken Perryman here, and I'm back again with another product, and it is this guy right here. It is called the Wavelink See the World. It is a USB-C docking station triple monitor with 130 watt uh, power delivery. Now, 130 watts, it can take in, but it'll put out 100 watts. Uh, it has a Wavelink uh, display docking station with 10 gigabit USB for Mac, Windows, uh, USB-C delivery through three HDMI, or even you can use two display ports, uh, two USB-Cs, and four USB 3.1. You also also have the ethernet and the audio audio meaning that you have a headphone connection so let's go ahead and open this guy up show you what's in the box okay so what's in the box is going to be your docking station itself it's uh it's made of uh, all plastic external obviously there's metal components inside but it's all plastic casing it's got a nice set of rubberized feet down here and then it's got some mounting points here so on the front side there's audio the headphone jack that i was talking about uh, this is the for the, the face that will be facing you i have two 10 gigabits per second connections for USB A types. Then you have your USB C type 10, also 10 gigabits per second delivery there. Plug and play display, yeah, discussion or statement there. You do have your own off switch, your power connection, 20 volts in. Uh, we'll get to that here in a second. This is the computer in. Hopefully your computer has a USB C. This is where you'll get and receive a signal that will go out to these ports here. You have also further two more USB A 3.1 connections here. You have your alt mode connection connection right here uh, you're for your HDMI. This is going to be an HDMI 4K delivery with uh, 60 hertz. Then you'll have an option between display ports or HDMI. These will be 2K60. And then of course you have your LAN connection. So this will make an all-around hub for you to deliver. Uh, what I really like about this is, it, it, to my point, is deliver is that you can use USB-A's because if you're using a MacBook Pro like I am at this point that I'm going to be showing, you have no USB-A connection so you need a hub anyway. So the nice thing about this is, is you will have your, you'll have your power delivery and your monitor. You'll have your triple monitor capability. You'll also have further USB-A connections and two more USB-A connections. And then of course your USB-C. So basically you're losing one port and you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, ports back in return. But you're also getting your LAN if you need to, if you want it physically connected as opposed to Wi-Fi, and you also have your triple monitor uh, output. All of this in this little box right here that will be sitting on your desktop. Further inside the box, there are a couple components in here. So you have your power delivery that will plug to the front. Again, using power outlet, you'll be able to power up that hub and also your computer and get you the 100-ish watts that you need to keep your computer going. This is an interesting connection. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. So, so there's the USB-C connection and then there's a little hole at the top. That's for this little screw mount to help ensure that once you put this in. All right, so since I'm gonna be using the actual connector here uh, for that delivery, I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in and right now it is in solid. So this will not come out. It will not be disconnected from the back. That is a nice feature about this cable. Okay, so additionally to uh, your paperwork inside, you have of where you can go to get your driver download. Go and get it from the Wavelink site itself. And then of course your download, I believe, no, scan the QR code to load the link for the quick start guide and the driver downloading. So you can use that if you want to there. You have basically everything that you may need to know about how to install the driver, how to install the cable uh, and cables uh, and all there about. Okay, there's a everything you need to know on connecting all of this together. I'm gonna show you how this works. Guys, here we are all connected. I have got this basically set up right here. Uh, I'm going to replace it with another switch, but I'm just testing it right now for you to see three monitors. One, two, and three. There's something special about this. I'll explain it here in a second. But first, I used the quick start guide. I went and walked all the way through all the steps. It explained how to get there, and it walked you through everything you needed to do. That's my MacBook right there. That's a Windows computer, but I'm using the MacBook right now. In the MacBook, plugged it in, connected it through all three monitors, and got all three monitors working independently. And let me show you real quick. Like I'm moving this over to here. I'm gonna move my project over here. And of course, Best Buy talking some Black Friday over here. I'm showing you the email of it moving around. This, what's special about this monitor over here is that this only has, and I had to buy a special cable for it, but it only has the VGA standard connection in the back. There is no HDMI. I had to get a VGA to HDMI. It's connected into this. This display link is handling all three of these and this pretty old monitor. The important part is display link covered all three with no issues. Now I've got also 
my loop deck connected to the back so I can use it for a screen capture. As you can see right there, it's trying to grab a quick screen capture of this. I can move it over to any one of these screens. Screen capture. I also have my keyboard plugged into the back of this. So what that what does that tell you? I've used one port on this. I don't need the power cable. I can use that directly. I'm I'm blown away by the, the capability of this. Again, this has the capability of being because I put this in the alt spot. This is up to 4K 60 and these are both 2K 60, which I'm not doing anything significant with these monitors and these monitors are not that highest level. So this is working perfectly for this setup for right now. Now I just got to find a place for this. I'm thinking about putting it back there. Long story less long, I have the capability of running triple monitors with no issue uh, using this display link box and it is really cool. Now added to that, I have two more USB A's that I can connect to this computer. I have a couple other peripherals connected to this that I don't need to worry about. I do have one that I'll probably keep back there and that's my 40 gigabits per second hard drive, external hard drive I have connected. That's the only one I'll use on that port. I now have two more ports open on the other side and yet I still have two more 10 gigabit per second ports here and I have two 10 gigabit gigabits per second 3.1 USB A ports. This thing is just completely revamped the whole process in which I need all of this. This display link is actually super helpful. I love how it works. It works beautifully. So I hope this was helpful for you. I really do appreciate your time and I'm out.